The new Apple iPhone 15 is coming with some big upgrades from its predecessor, and today we've got plenty of incredible news to share. Let me know in the comments what your most wanted upgrade is for the Apple iPhone 15. So first story of the day, we've got a tweet from Shrimp Apple Pro, and he confirms that we will in fact have solid state buttons on the new iPhone 15 Pro models, and the volume rocker is going to be changed from two separate buttons to one solid state button. Now he's provided the 3D model to show us exactly what it's going to look like, and this is exactly the same as what I've used in my iPhone 15 renders here. The volume will probably be used as a volume slider, and then the mute switch has also been removed in place of a mute touch button. Now many people are worried about the use with cases, but this isn't going to be a problem at all, and it can actually be demonstrated by today's video sponsor, CaseQ Magic Stand. The CaseQ Magic Stand is an ultra-protective, lightweight MagSafe case for your iPhone. It's incredibly slim and only adds an extra 2mm to your phone with plenty of protection. The mute switch has a gradient treatment on the edges, meaning even if you've got larger fingers, you can still operate it, and this technique is likely going to be used for the iPhone 15 touch buttons. We've got a lens that protrudes 1mm higher than the camera, and this gives you full protection of the lenses, as well as built-in airbags in each corner to protect your iPhone from big drops or falls. We've also got a 48 magnet ring to hold your iPhone nice and secure with all your MagSafe chargers and accessories. Now the magic stand sits flush with the case and it can be unfolded to prop your phone up at any angle between 40 and 120 degrees. You can even just put your finger through it for extra support when holding. Now it's available on the iPhone 12, 13 and 14. And I've placed the link down in the description below along with the discount code TTTech10 and this gives you 10% off. So go ahead and check them out now. Next up, we've got more confirmation that all of the iPhone 15 models are going to feature a USB Type-C port, along with more clarification on Apple's plans. Now, Apple will include an authenticator made for iPhone chip, and this is going to detect if it's an official cable or not. Now, unofficial cables are still going to work as normal, but they will be restricted for both data transfer as well as the charging speeds. Now, according to reliable analyst Ming-Chi Kuo, Apple is anticipating a major increase in demand for its USB-C 20-watt power adapters as a result from this change. Now, unfortunately, we still don't know what fast charge to expect from the iPhone 15 Pro models, but thanks to the switch to USB Type-C, we're hoping it's going to be higher than 20 watts. Next up, we've got news that the iPhone 15 Pro Max is actually going to break the record for the thinnest bezels ever seen on an iPhone, and it's even beating the S23 Ultra in multiple areas. Now, iTunes tweeted to give us the iPhone 15 Pro Max bezel sizes, and they come in at 1.5mm, which is incredibly thin. Not only that, but the iPhone 15 Pro Max is going to have even bezels all round, and this is something that other manufacturers fail to do, and they end up with a much bigger chin than the top and the sides. With these extra slim bezels, it's really going to help give the iPhone 15 Pro Max that extra premium look. Apple are doing more to differentiate the Pro from the non-Pro models this year, and there's going to be some big differences between the different models. For a start, the Pro models are getting the 3 nanometer A17 chipset, and this brings huge improvements in both power and efficiency. The iPhone 15 Pro and the Pro Max are also going to be getting a new titanium frame. While the body remains similar to last year, it will be more curved at the edges, and this is going to make it more comfortable to hold. The capacitive touch buttons instead of physical buttons are also going to massively help with the holding comfort, and then we have the upgrades to the display and the bezel sizes just to round it all off. Now the iPhone 15 Pro Max is going to be the first iPhone to feature a periscope zoom camera, and we're even getting an upgrade to the LiDAR scanner as well as the primary camera. Now these renders I've created here give you a good look at what the iPhone 15 Pro Max is going to look like, and for those that want to see the full trailer, I've placed the link down in the description below, or you can click the card in the top right corner. Now unfortunately, that's all of the news we have on the iPhone 15 today, but make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss a thing in the future.